Welcome to the Middle East Peace Update Report. I am Bro Stuff, and today is March 19th, 2016. Title of today's report is God's Judgment is Coming. Report is based on Joel chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. And let's uh, read that right now. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, and they have also divided up my land. They have cast lots for my people, have given a boy as a payment for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. And so I want to point a few things out uh, with respect to this scripture before we move on. Um, The Bible defines itself. It says in verse 1, For behold, in those days, and the question I always ask is, What days, Lord? And at that time, what time? What days? And then the very next sentence, the Lord defines that when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, or in other words, when the Jews come back into the land after the dispersion in 70 AD, the diaspora that was scattered, all the Jews scattered all over the nations, when they come back into the land, that should be a signpost to you that dramatic prophetic events are going to start happening. And that's a time for all believers to pay attention and to start being alert. Verse 2, I'll gather all the nations down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. You should know the Valley of Jehoshaphat is the Jezreel Valley. Some call it the Valley of Megiddo. Um, that is the valley. It's, it's like 200 miles long. And that's where Revelation uh, Revelation says, I'm, I don't remember the actual chapter. I'd have to look it up. But in Revelation, um, somewhere between, I believe it's chapters 14 and, and 18, uh, it says that the blood from the enemies of God will go from the ground up to the horse's bridle for... 200 miles. So that valley's very, uh, the way to describe it, it's very flat, very long, and it's a perfect place uh, for warfare to take place. And in the past, a lot of Israel's wars were fought in the Jezreel Valley. So I just wanted to highlight that for you. And then I wanted to bring up something very important And that is the issue of treating God's people with a lack of respect and treating them like abusing them and and not treating them with honor or dignity. And that, uh, of course, can be found in uh, verse 3, you've cast lots for my people. You've bargained for them. You've, you've, uh, you know, treated them like, uh, you know, well, like nothing. And uh, you've treated boys, uh, exchanged boys for prostitutes. You've sold girls, Jewish girls, for a bottle of wine. And so what the Lord's trying to show here is that you've treated my people without respect, with no dignity. You've uh, treated them like the, like the dirt. And, and so God is saying, these are the reasons why I'm going to judge you. Now, I want to highlight, because I think it's really important. I want to highlight Jewish immigration from 1948 to 1951. Very interesting statistic. From 1948, when Israel became a nation, to 1951, 
the Jewish population grew by 688,000 people. But listen to this. In 1949, just that year alone, and this has gone down in history as being the largest Jewish immigration to the land of Israel, 1949. 249,954 Jews immigrated to Israel in that year alone. Largest Jewish immigration in history. And so I just wanted to bring those two statistics out, which really bears witness to what the Word of God said. I mean, all of us, none of us need proof or need factual evidence to believe God's Word. That's just true. We have faith, and we believe that God's Word is literal and is true. But it's an interesting statistic to be able to show to people that uh, during these years, there was tremendous Jewish immigration to Israel, just like Joel chapter 3 said there would be. When God said, I'll bring my people back, the ones scattered throughout the nations, when I, I will bring them back. And he meant it. And these statistics kind of bear that out. And I'm going to link the report that I got this information from. I'll link it into the uh, summary of this report. So we have a lot of reason to believe, according to the Bible, And according to evidences that we're seeing played out in our day, that we need to be paying close attention to what's going on in our day and be looking up because the return of Christ is coming soon. I mean, the return of Christ is closer today than it was yesterday. And um, we need to prepare our hearts and our minds for the eventuality that the Lord is going to call us to meet him in the air, where we'll forever be with him, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. That catching away of true believers is going to happen. We don't know the date, but we know we're in the season when these things are going to take place. Um. Also, let's keep in mind and remember uh, that all of the other things that the Bible and the New Testament talked about would be happening. People would, the love of many would wax cold. People would uh, not show concern for one another. Uh, There would be violence. There would be trouble. There would be wars and rumors of wars. Uh, brother would turn against brother, sister against sister, son against mother, etc. Um, and we see the upheaval and almost the beginnings of anarchy in our society taking place. So we see that all the signs that the Apostle Paul talked about and that Jesus talked about our Lord and Savior in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Um, All of these things are happening. ISIS has created genocide in the Middle East. Christians are being slaughtered throughout the Middle East. Uh, Laws are being changed to make it illegal for pastors to tell the truth about homosexuality and lesbianism. You can't talk about that. You could, uh, in some countries, go to jail. Some are trying to make it illegal uh, or call it a hate crime to preach the Word of God and tell the truth from the Word of God. And so we live in times that are very, very unusual. The good news, the Lord is going to gather in Revelation 19, everyone into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, all the armies of the world, and there he will be glorified. The day's coming. Our redemption's drawing near. Keep looking up. And if you don't know the Lord, go to brosteph.com and learn how to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you again soon. Remember, live out your faith.